uh, as usual in the mid of the lower abdomen um, it is compressing the bilaterally the vessels and uh, uh, it is also uh, having a, uh, a thickened wall and also uh, compressing the rectum posteriorly uh, on coronal images uh, i cannot see any calcification it is also compressing the bladder uh, inferiorly and uh, giving mass effects uh, uh, there is no any obstruction uh, there is no any dilatation of the gut is noted uh, no air uh, outside is noted um, so it is a large thick wall thick enhancing wall lesion with uh, multiple enhancing areas as well as septations are noted in the female patient with vaginal bleeding could uh, it is uh, a side uh, uh, this is a side of uh, uh, as it is uh, calling uh, causing indentation on the superior aspect of the bladder so it could be a large enlarged uh, uterus with uh, thick enhancing wall and uh, uh, dilated endometrium and in, in this in endometrium uh, i can see a uh, enhancing areas with the uh, septations so uh, um, as these are enhancing so it could be a uh, uh, the female is a uh, um, young uh, so uh, uh, i will uh, uh, it is also uh, uh, causing enlargement of the blood uh, 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 uterus however there is no any uh, the pad place between the bladder and the uterus is intact uh so uh, it is a endometrial mass lesion enhancing and uh, there is also fluid in the endometrium is noted so uh i will ask if there is uh, any uh, other images sagittal or other images to uh, uh, so i can see uh, these images these findings on other images as well as uh, uh, as uh, other old images if provided so i will compare it with uh, it and i will uh, uh, there is no lymph adenopathy i can see no uh, there is minimal uh, there is no ascites is noted so it could be a mass lesion it is a, a growth malignant growth in my opinion uh, okay i will go for the markers yes what markers and uh, uh, tumor markers like uh, endometrial carcinoma do you think that the age is typical for uh, these are uh, yes ma'am but i can't rem uh, uh, remember it's uh, uh, okay yeah i i if i told uh, you that if i told I you that the patient uh, uh, if i if i told you that the patient had history of uh, um d and c keratage uh okay. for the endometrium uh, so it could be weeks, a, yes two weeks ago okay it could be a uh, then ashman syndrome uh with what is, a what, extent what is uh, the endometrium is yeah what is ashman syndrome no it's not these are uh, uh strands uh, of uh, uh endometrium which is in hand, uh, which is uh, horizontally uh, seen in the uh, breaching the endomet uh, endometrium as well as the myometrium but uh, these are not uh, these are uh, enhancing so it could be a uh, any uh, retained product or could be a uh, endo uh, atriosis or it could be a uh, any uh, retain uh, uh, it could be a uh, clot okay so uh, as you mentioned excellent good in uh, the picking uh, if you if you if you are sure that this uh mass is within the endometrium then start saying yes. it's a endometrial dilatation with hypervascular cystic and solid component within the endometrium so instead of going in it's a pelvic mass and then describing a pelvic mass then going back saying it's mm -hmm. endometrial so if you're sure this is the rectum this is the uterus and this is yes. the endometrium mm -hmm. so if you're sure then start by saying it's an endometrial thickening yes. with complex cystic and hypervascular solid mass within the endometrium mm -hmm. uh, the patient is young as you said she's 24 year old female uh, and giving the history of recent dnc uh, retained product of conception is actually a good differential diagnosis 
uh, and retained product of conception can have enhancement. Uh, other differential diagnosis and one important lab, you should always ask for uh, a beta HCG. If I told you that the patient uh, had a very elevated beta HCG level, very high levels of beta HCG. Mm -hmm. Any other differential diagnosis you would consider? Molar pregnancy could be molar pregnancy. Yes. Or uh... excellent. And if you are thinking of molar pregnancy, what other sites you want to uh, assess? Um, I will uh, just uh, first uh, uh, confirm by beta HCG. Then I will uh, uh, look for uh, uh, bilateral ovaries. And uh, other uh, then I will uh, then I will go for uh, its uh, it, as it is transformation in uh, trans uh, it is a malignant uh, uh, complication of uh, this is a malign malignancy so I will uh, ask the patient history as well as the uh, chest X-ray for meds. Excellent. So uh, this is a case of uh, gestational trophoblastic disease, molar pregnancy. Uh, in uh, so it's uh, relatively. Uh, not uncommon to have it, but uh, seeing it in CT is unusual. So be prepared to see common uh, typical things in an unusual or uh, uh, not very typical modality. So this is gestational trophoplastic disease. Mm -hmm. Next, you would like to, you should assess mm -hmm. or ask for the ovaries looking for ovarian hyperstimulation or uh, luteal uh, cyst, the luteal cyst with the ovaries and check the chest x-ray or if there is CT looking for METS if it is uh, malignant transformation. So uh, this is the typical appearance on ultrasound. Excellent. Good job. So this is the typical appearance on ultrasound giving the snowstorm appearance and these are the fecal luteal cysts in the ovary typically. This article from RSNA is very good article showing um, the many faces of gestational trophoplastic disease with the uh, its variant types, uh, I'd recommend if you can go and read it uh, and see the images. 